difference that you could see. And there we go, there's a beautiful hammerkop. That's nice. A hammerkop, which means hammerhead. It gets a name from that shape of the head and the feathers, the beak and the feathers. Now, this is actually a great fisher, fisherman. Great fisher, fisherman, great fisherman. Um, but they also catch frogs and little fish on the edge of the water. A fascinating thing about the hammerkorp is the nest that it builds. Now, it will build a nest that can weigh up to 50 kilograms, 50 or 60 kilograms. And they build them up in a, in trees in the, in the, not quite the branches, but in the, almost the trunk of the tree. Um, where the uh, where there's a stable place for this nest to rest and those big nests they will use annually so they keep going back and using the same nest but it is um, it is amazing to see them build these big nests and go back and then when they move out other creatures will use those nests too uh, creatures like uh, uh, like owls perhaps you might have owls using it but also snakes you get a few different snakes that will go and use it Provides a home for a lot of different animals. Now, Bonnie, these dams contain a, a few different species of fish, but but it's mainly tilapia and and catfish. We call them barbel, but they're catfish and a few different species of tilapia. And that's it. Not too much else in these dams. Um, they just occur naturally in these areas. So the catfish and tilapia. That's what you would find here. Now in the Sand River, which runs through the, uh, the Sabi Sands, so south of where we are, we're not bordering on it. But I have seen some small tiger fish in there too, believe it or not. Um, but it's not a prominent area for tiger fish, it's mainly catfish and tilapia. Very peaceful around here at the moment, these hippo 